Season 5 mechanic is Ancient Monsters and they appear in every single Chaos Con. What you're gonna see is that there's gonna be a megalith structures on your maps and near those megalith structures there are gonna be some big NPCs around them. So what you want to do, you want to kill all of those megalith structures and NPCs around them. And when you do that, you're gonna see that Ancient being danger level is gonna increase. You can see that near your Chaos Dungeon UI. And the main idea in here is you always want to purify your monsters whenever you have danger level 3. Because the higher the danger level, the higher chance to drop higher TE Exodio maps. And the Exodio maps is basi basically Unos map version 2. They drop a lot of good stuff. In here, I'm finishing my danger level. I'm gonna purify danger level 3. And the main thing to remember in here that those monsters are really strong, so be careful. After you drop your Exodium card from the Ancient Monsters, you go into the Chaos Statue, you add your Exodium card, I'm gonna do tier 9, and don't go too much on growth level, cause those, those monsters are really strong. The layout for tier 9 is a little bit different than tier 3 and tier 6, but the idea is the same. The main thing you want to do in here, you want to activate every single statue that you see, cause this is where your main drops is coming from. Those statues are gonna drop you the most. After that, it's just simple maps. You clear those, clear everything. Actually, try to clear everything, cause even non-monster, non-statue monsters, they still drop quite a bit of stuff. And there is a reason for that, and I'm gonna explain it on, on the waypoint. Basically, why these maps are so good is because you can target farm what you want. So, as you see, there is icons in here. This one is basically rune enchants, and this is gear enchants. So, you can choose whatever you want to choose to farm. If you press question mark, you're gonna see what those icons means. There is alchemy ingredients, dungeon materials, constellation materials, and temple alta is basically the last room before the boss. I'm gonna give you one piece of advice. If you do the alchemy ingredients, you can also craft the Rune Mastery Potions, which is gonna help you with Rune Mastery XP. Rune Essences is really nice early when you need to work on your skill board. Gear Essences is nice when you start crafting big. Dungeon Essences, Chaos Dungeon Essences is nice cause you drop some legendary upgrades, which is good for Traces maps. And with Constellations, there is one interesting thing. People were saying that they were dropping Trom Crystals at 145 level. Which was really weird to me, I didn't test it because I'm not strong enough to clear those maps, but I think it's true, so keep that in mind. So after that, you just choose whichever waypoint you want to do and you go for it. And every single time you clear one waypoint, you're gonna get another options and so on till you finish the map. Exodium tier 3 maps and tier 6 maps have the same lay layout. The only difference is that in tier 6 maps there's gonna be a lot more NPCs and the final room before the boss is gonna spawn a lot more elites and bosses so be careful in that room especially if you start doing the higher level ones because the more levels you're gonna increase the more insane the last room is gonna be however i did not see a really good drops from this room because most of the good drops are actually from the statues and from the boss itself Tier 9 and Tier 12 Exodio maps have different layouts than Tier 3 and Tier 6. And at the same time, you're gonna see a little bit more waypoints. And in those waypoints, you're gonna see a lot more statues also. And the final room has an insane amount of elite NPCs. So whenever you do that, be careful. Those elite NPCs come sometimes stack on top of each other. And with all their auras, it's gonna be really tough to kill them. You will need a lot of damage. And sometimes you can get CC chained and you're just gonna die. So keep that in mind. Otherwise, this map, I didn't see any specific good drops from these. It's just like random items that you can find on the... And the Rune Master XP in this final room is really good. I loved it. Uh, the boss of Tier 12 Exodium map is Cornidius that we saw in Season 5 trailer. That dude has a lot of mechanics. I don't know all of these mechanics, I'm just trying to kill it as fast as I can with all the damage I have. Or just have a lot of defenses, and I suggest to do the same. 
So this would be all, everything I wanted to say. If you have some questions, ask them on YouTube comments. And if you have suggestions for videos, let me know.